hello students welcome to today's lecture of r programming nested if else statement in r today i am going to discuss about this topic in r studio with the help of programming i am going to explain this content suppose we have to calculate maximum out of three values using nested if else statement first of all we have to enter three values from user side for that read line then prompt enter first integer value similarly you can enter the second value read line then prompt second value similarly we can enter third value first value second value and third value now after entering these values we have to convert the values into integer a then as dot integer a similarly the second value as dot integer b then the third value as dot integer c let us check the output up to this point enter first value 23 second value suppose 12 is there and third value suppose 17 is there these are the three values then the conversion first one second one and third one these are the steps enter first value then enter second value enter third value you can enter any value from user side now apply the condition of nested if else statement if a greater than b if a greater than c now what is the meaning of this it means a is greater than b and a is greater than c print paste a comma is the largest value else print paste c and double quotes is the largest value this one is the first block 
if a greater than b if a greater than c this one is nested if else means if else statement lies inside if block then else what about the second condition second one is again we can apply if condition inside this one if b greater than c you can copy this content and paste here you can write here b because if b greater than c then b is the largest value else the second condition that is c is the largest value these are the conditions if a greater than b and a greater than c then a is largest otherwise c is largest and the second condition if b greater than c then b is the largest value else c is the largest value let's execute the content first step then second one then the third one 23 is the largest value now look at the entries first value is 23 second is 12 and third is 17 a is the largest value it means 23 is the largest value not writing a because in place of a we are printing the value suppose i am entering some negative value let's execute the program again first one suppose i am entering minus 11 then minus 13 then the third value minus 9 now execute the program again minus 9 is the largest value i am entering three values one is minus 11 then minus 13 and minus 9 out of three negative values minus 9 is the largest value look at this one minus 9 is the largest value you can enter the same values also again execute the program if i am entering the same values first value 12 then second value again 12 and third value again 12 12 is the largest value you can print that particular data means we are finding the largest value it automatically prints all the contents you can print zero also suppose i am printing one value as zero and second as positive and third as negative again execute the program suppose i am entering first value as 13 and second value as 0 and third value as negative value look at the output 13 is the largest value it means for positive value it's applicable this program is applicable negative value it's applicable for zero it's applicable for equal values it's applicable it means program is applicable for all the values i repeat again first of all you have to enter three values from user side then conversion into integer then checking using nested if else statement thanks for watching my video